today we decided to take a little day trip to Camp Helen State Park. It's on the far west side of Panama City Beach. That's it overlooking the lake here and it faces the gulf on the other side. No camping at this park, but they have hiking and some old historical structures there. So we're gonna go check it out. State Park in Florida since 1996, but the actual camp has been around for decades. Back in the 40s, an Alabama textile company bought it for use of their employees to come down for vacation, and they actually owned it until the mid-80s. Entrance fees are four dollars on the honor system, two dollars per person on bikes. Hey, station right there, honor system. Very nice. Four dollars. Well, I may have to get out and do this, Shirley. You get a little stub from the envelope that you paid with. Although we didn't put ours in the envelope because he had already put Made it a in mistake. a hole before we discovered the envelope. Uh, but that's how they can tell that you paid. They still have their Christmas decorations up. This is January 2022. It's a popular place for kayaks also. That's where you go to launch to go in Lake Powell. Okay, let's see what we got here. There are some historical structures here that are on the National Registry. It was privately owned and a family lived here. They had several houses for vacation rentals. And I think that was like 20s and 30s and then in the 1940s that Alabama company bought the property. So the beach is seven tenths of a mile round trip. I remember it's quite a walk down there. If you have chairs and beach equipment with you. So we're looking for um, oversized parking. I thought they had oversized parking in here. Let's just go. Not, we'll just take up a couple of places. Hmm. There's orbit size. Oh, there you go. Past it. So before we start out on our hikes, hikes. Uh, We're gonna get a little snack, yes. lunch. We brought our picnic lunch. Sandwiches. Sandwich. Coca Cola. Doritos. Check out the visitor center. Walking out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll show you where we are. So, visitor center right here. Okay. Uh -huh. And if you go back to the parking lot, past the flagpoles, down the cement path here, this concrete, this is a variety of services, but it's paved for one eighth of a mile for the final pavilion. Oh, it goes across. From here, it turns into a woods trail, goes out to the perimeter fence, back up to the lake, and then back around and through the woods and back along the lake shore, and you come back out the way you went in. How far is that? That's a uh, little, well, it's, that's an eighth of a mile. This is one mile, and this is an eighth of a mile. Okay. Give or take. I, I would say, I'd probably say 1.5 miles. Okay. Right. I didn't okay. realize it when it on the other side of yeah, the highway. Yeah, underneath the highway. Yeah, okay. Okay, now, if you go out the back door of the building, follow the sidewalk around, you'll see a set of, there's a gazebo here and a set of steps going down. This is a sandy 
road along the lake shore okay. that we use primarily for maintenance, but the kayaks are down there. And that'll either take you back to the North Trail, mm -hmm. or if you hang a right at the bottom of the steps, it'll take you around here and you'll pick up the bridge, cross the bridge, down the mats, which go to a boat here, and then you're on a sandy trail to the beach. Okay. No pets past this point here, okay. this junction. If you go up the front door, past the stable, which is a large white building over there, oh. you'll be on your right door, right. Right. can't miss it, past the stop sign out there. And then when you get to this junction, you have a choice. If you go left and stay on the sidewalk, you'll end up going down the hill, over the bridge, and out to the beach. Okay. However, if you go down the hill and follow the nature trail, you'll end up on the Oak Canopy Trail. Okay. And then there's the short trail, left turn to the beach, or there's the long trail. Okay. And, and that's the in the beach. wooded area? Yes. Nice. And it's easy walking. Parents take strollers out there. We have cyclists out there. Okay. And we have, in fact, had those uh, balloon tire wheelchairs. Okay. So, so it's easily accessible. Can you go into the historical buildings? Not today. Okay. They're, the main lodge is set up for a uh, concert tonight. Okay. Uh -oh. And there's a history tour on Saturday the 5th if you're still here in February. Oh, we're here uh, 365 days a year. Well, <laughs> you don't own a snow shovel, do you? I don't. Now, I know somebody that does, though. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm down here out the snow. That would be fun to do the history tour. Yeah. So the main lodge, that's where the people lived. That's where right? Mrs. Hicks lived with her niece. Interesting. And then she built the cottages to generate some revenue. Uh-huh. And then it was taken over by Avalon. Avon, Avalon. I'm from Newfoundland. I always say Avalon. Avondale Mill. Right. Out of Alabama. A very large concern. They turned it into a camp for their staff. Very nice. And used to bus their staff down. You used to have letters to see who could get aboard the bus. Everybody wanted to be here. I uh, don't blame them. Yes. So which way do you want to go, Miss Shirley? But the, uh, the history tour is well worth the time. It really is. Saturday. Well, we don't know. We tell lies about it. Um, I would like to go on the canopy trail. Well, let's do it. Okay. Black bear. Coyote. It's cute though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rattlesnake. Wow. So how? So you would have to carry all your stuff down there. Yes. Yeah. This is all the history in here. Where the first turnoff is. I forget the name of the street, but anyway, where the condos are. There's access there. You can drive down. <laughs> Please do not feed the squirrels. Well, hey. Lots of live oaks here. Pretty moss. Somebody lost a shoe. Assuming that is the lodge where the mother daughter lived before the 40s. Before the 40s, okay. Mm -hmm. 
And that turned into the big house. Private home to public retreat. They purchased the property in the early 30s and built the lodge in 1932. It was going to be a private home, but then they were forced to open the property to paying guests who stayed in the newly built Rainbow Cottages. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the cottages up there. Sit. Some nice rocking chairs. It's the rainbow cottages because they were all a different color. Hmm. Built in the thirties. Cinder block. Beautiful location. Let's go check out the water tower. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Surrounded by water, but they needed to have a water tower to uh, have drinking water. And showers, I guess. Been here since the 30s. Same time as the cottages. And there's a stable over there. Let's go check it out. So this was once a horse stable, but when the Avondale company bought it, they used it to store their linens. So the guests would make their own beds and pick up their linens at the former stable where they were stored. for tall people. It's a little stable. It's like they've taken it back to the stable look. I'm sure when they had their linens in here it didn't look like this. Well, <laughs> probably not. So we're starting on the Oak Canopy Trail and it loops back around to the beach area I believe. We'll find out. Not sure what that building is. Little fire pits out here. And looks like over here maybe the the park volunteers may be able to stay over there. So you could come and have a picnic out here. Yeah. Nice. Talks about the value of wetlands. It's just kind of in between the lake and the beach is over there that direction. And you can see Pinnacle Port condominiums and Carillon Beach area right over there across the lake. There may be a few alligators in there, would you say? I would suspect so. If I was a gator, that's where I'd go. Right there. Huh. Yep. To be aware, Florida black bears. Never know when one's gonna be hiding in the bushes looking at you. Woo! Here's some of the wildlife we may see. Hawk, blue jay, raccoon. I don't want to see that. 
We have a decision to make. More nature trail or to the beach? I vote let's go to the beach. Okay, so looks like we are probably here. Maybe. Okay. Let's try. One thing about these trails are not too long, so no matter which way you go, you're not going to be stuck. Yeah. Nice. And there's always a nice bench to rest along the way. It's kind of unique looking <laughs> bench. It's a pipe. Arm breast. Ooh, look at the woodpecker. Can tell the path is getting sandy and getting close to the beach. Go from the woods to the beach. Keep us off the sand dunes. Once you're walking on the sand dunes. It's a better look at the Pinnacle Court condo. And the houses back there are in the Carillon Beach community. Now that's a premium seat right here. so it's easier to ride a bike or push a wheelchair down here. But then you couldn't really go much farther than that. This is where there are no pits allowed beyond this point. It's a pretty good walk on the sand down to the actual shoreline. See those dunes behind us? Flies are flying. Too cold to swim anyway. The sun's not shining very well. It's the water color. Right. It's very overcast. Something for shells. Look at all of them.
old staircase to the cottages. They rent kayaks out here and you can fish. Light power. So we walked around the lake path, brought us right to the parking lot. Try the north trail that goes under Highway 98. Let's see what it looks like over there. Under the highway. The North Loop. I like this North Loop. Yeah, trail is nice. Shady, a little bit of sun here and there. Places to sit down and rest. enjoyed our day here at Camp Helen State Park. It's been about two and a half hours, walked three of the trails, and it was very enjoyable. Look forward to coming back. So did you enjoy the day? I did. Got some good exercise too. Nice park. Yeah, we enjoyed it. So I was gonna say there's oversized parking, but it says no parking. <laughs> That's a turnaround spot, I think. Yeah. And a mailbox. Makes sense.